the Thanksgiving Eve edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. We're going to get you set for Thanksgiving, of course, in this video, the entire weekend, which promises to be kind of interesting weather-wise in parts of the region, not necessarily in our viewing area, but just off to our north. And we'll talk about, uh, you know, kind of the longer range trends at the end of the video as well. First things first, on this Wednesday evening, we've had a lot of Virga on the uh, radar today, light uh, precipitation that shows up on the radar but doesn't quite reach the ground because it evaporates as it uh, falls down through a column of dry air. But more legitimate rain is falling a little after 7 this evening back towards Columbus, Zanesville, Cambridge, and all of that is heading our way. If you want a geeky meteorological term to throw out at your Thanksgiving dinner table on Thursday, uh, wet bulb. Uh, the wet bulb effect tonight is the reason why or part of the reason why uh, we expect some snow to mix in overnight. Rain, as it falls, cools the air. And so the more it rains tonight, the cooler the air is going to get. In fact, it will get cool enough to support snow falling through the column of air from the ground on up, even though the air temperature down here at the ground will stay mostly above freezing. Up at the cloud level, we'll have no trouble producing snowflakes later on tonight as uh, these processes get going. And so, yeah, a mix of, of rain and wet snow, maybe even a changeover to all wet snow at times later tonight and as Thanksgiving begins on our Thursday. In the meantime, with the Lake Effect event getting set to uh, uh, really kick off late Thursday night and especially into the day on Friday, already the Weather Service Office in Cleveland has issued winter storm watches for Lake County, Ashtabula County, and then Crawford and Erie. In Northwest PA, the Buffalo office will follow suit probably tonight for a lot of their, <laughs> their uh, southwestern New York counties. And of course, these will be upgraded to winter storm warnings, certainly, as we go towards the day on Friday. We drew up a snow map for the lake effect event. Now, this just covers Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It doesn't take into account more lake effect next week. This is just kind of Friday through Sunday. You know, we're going to be measuring the snow uh, with in feet, I think, in parts of uh, northern Ashtabula County up towards I-90, and then certainly over towards uh, Erie, PA. Even as far south as Meadville, closer to Andover in uh, south uh, eastern uh, Ashtabula County, and then heading over into Geauga County, close to Chardon. Um, you know, there's going to be several inches of snow in a lot of those locations. Now, the closer you get to our viewing area, might there be some random coverings uh, in places like Southington, Mesopotamia, Kinsman, Johnston, uh, Greenville, Sandy Lake, places like that? Yeah, that's possible. But I don't think it's going to be a big deal in the grand scheme of things. So we'll be uh, seeing nothing more than passing flurries in a place like Lisbon or Columbiana or Newcastle or certainly down towards East Liverpool. In the meantime, tonight... We'll start out with a chilly rain, but as the night wears on and that wet bulb effect really starts uh, influencing things, we're going to see more wet snowflakes mixing in, and it may be just snowing in some parts of the area for early morning risers on Thursday morning. Now, as we've been saying all along, this is going to have a hard time sticking to the road surfaces, um, but could someone see some small slushy accumulations? Might you even get a half an inch or three quarters of an inch on your deck railing and on your car top and things like that? Yeah, maybe. Um, the road should be okay, though, for the most part, first thing on our Thursday morning. Now, this will be the most unsettled Thanksgiving we've had in a few years. We've had dry Thanksgivings the last two years. We had a, a pretty mild one two years ago back in 2022. Some rain in 48 back in 2021. The last time we had snowflakes on Thanksgiving was five years ago in 2019, uh, when temperatures mostly stayed in the uh, 30s, the snowiest Thanksgiving on record, 2005. Uh, almost five inches worth of snow at the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport back in 2005. Other uh, big hitters here when it comes to Thanksgiving snow include way back in 1944, then 2014, 1980. There's kind of a mix here of recent years and fairly old years. Of course, Thanksgiving doesn't always fall on the same date. It's always the fourth Thursday in November, which means it can fall anywhere between November 22nd and the 28th. It's its latest possible date this year. So it's you know it's not like Christmas or the 4th of July where it's always on the same date. Thanksgiving, the dates can vary, but a little snapshot there of, uh, of, of some snowfall statistics on Thanksgiving. We'll have some measurable snow, I think, in parts of the area tomorrow morning. Again, even though it's going to be pretty low impact, I think our Thursday will go into the record books with some amount of measurable snow recorded at the, uh, at the airport. This steady shield of precipitation will push away 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. The rest of the day, gloomy. Limited sunshine, a couple of uh, rain showers, a possibility, right through the afternoon. We'll probably get a break for a lot of Thursday evening before flurries start making their presence known by Friday overnight and into Friday morning as the colder air wraps in. And the lake effect guns will start to really firing here by midday on Friday up towards Ashtabula, Erie, and Jamestown 
New York. And then what you see is what you get for the most part uh, right through the weekend. The lake effect machine will continue up north. I think we'll actually see some sunshine on Saturday, but it's going to be ineffective. I mean, we're going to be hard-pressed to get out of the 20s on Saturday with wind chills mostly in the teens. All right. As always, uh, courtesy of AccuWeather legend Elliot Abrams, one of my uh, mentors in my uh, uh, career early on. Uh, he uh, was a real wordsmith, or still is a real wordsmith, and he came up with uh, this idea of an indoor forecast for Thanksgiving, so I always kind of steal that every year. And uh, yeah, Weight Watch definitely issued, probably upgraded to a warning by midday on Thursday. A couple of inches of turkey accumulation on most plates. Now the turkey, uh, as usual, taper off pretty late in the day, but there will be high pressure to eat sandwiches on Friday. And then maybe some scattered soup as we go into the uh, upcoming weekend. Now, again, uh, the snow is not going to really add up in our viewing area, but the cold is going to be a story by... Uh, the weekend and into next week. These are mostly daybreak wind chills, mostly single digits Saturday and Sunday, right into early next week. And, you know, I've been talking this week on Weather for Weather Geeks that this uh, cold has some staying power. Here's a look at the 10 day temperature trend. We're going to be hard pressed to get above freezing almost every day through at least the first week of December. And I, I kind of think this pattern lasts until at least the 10th of December. There are differing ideas about uh, the second half of December. I could see either outcome working out at this point. I could see a, a pretty pronounced thaw as we get closer to the holidays. I could also see where the pattern kind of continues for a lot of December. So the jury very much still out on that. I think next week we'll have a much better idea about uh, those weeks three and four trends going into the future and towards Christmas and New Year's. As always, thank you for watching Weather for Weather Geeks. Hope you and your family have a great Thanksgiving holiday. I'll see you back here on Monday evening, so have a great rest of your Thanksgiving weekend.